everyone, Andy here, welcome to today's video. So as you saw from that intro, I've got myself a little Lego drone. Now, don't be fooled by the fact that those propellers were spinning, that was just me having a bit of fun and a bit of a trick. They don't actually um, work, it's not electric. Um, I'll show you how I did that in a second. Before I do get into the video though, um, I would just like to say, if you're new to my channel, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and make sure to hit the bell icon to keep up to date with future videos. And also a big part of this video is I'm going to be doing a giveaway, giveaway to all you guys. Make sure you watch the whole video because the thing is I'm going to be stating within the video how you actually go about um, in entering. And the giveaway is the chance to win the little drone that I am going to be showing all you guys, the little Lego drone that I have made. So let's get on and have a look at this thing a little bit more closely. Alright everyone, so this is the Lego drone which you saw in the intro and as I said, these propellers, they, well they work in the way that as you can see they do spin but they don't work electronically. What I did was actually held a hairdryer above this thing to get the propellers to move. I just thought that was quite cool and quite fun and it does show that they do work. If you blow on these, they work really, really well and you know what, they can spin for quite a long time. Now, um, I went for the typical kind of drone shape um, this was both because I own a Phantom, DJI Phantom, which is white, which is why I've gone for that colour theme. But also, with the amount of parts, I'm really limited with what I could do. This is a custom-made one. I've had to source these parts myself and create the design. Um, I actually did this, like, sort of on Photoshop, where I just kept putting parts on top of each other and trying to work out what would click to what. Um, and I'm really happy with the outcome of this thing. I think it's really cool. I think it has kind of most of the details which you would find in something like a DJI Phantom. So if we look, try and look a little bit more closely, I mean, obviously at first glance, we have the four propellers and we also have the legs, which aren't normally under the propellers, but I had to do with what I had parts wise. But the good thing about it is if you can probably see um, at that angle, the legs mean that the camera and the gimbal won't get hit when it's on the ground, very much like the DJI Phantom. Now let's see if we can do a little bit more of a close-up here. So as you can see, I've got the camera. That is a standard Lego camera. It's the only one that I could find, but it's pretty cool. You could actually move the camera if you want, um, but I've got mine looking forward, and it's quite cool in the way that I've got this kind of, I suppose what looks like a um, gimbal, that would be the gimbal, which is like a single one piece with a little claw. And then that's housed onto the body where the four um, kind of legs protrude. I mean, this area was quite hard to make a body with it being as small as possible. Um, but I've just finished it off at the top with a nice dome, just so it gives it a slightly more smoother and finished look. And as well as the drone, what we've got is we've got the little control pad. So this is the little remote control. Let's see if we can get this to focus better. So this is as small as I could make the control um, with the parts that are available. So we've got the little like kind of what would be the display, which kind of looks a bit more like what you would have on like say the Mavic or the Air. But um, we've got the two handles either side, which if I get a Lego man in a second, they do click onto this, we can hold it. And then we've got the two little aerials at the top, which are adjustable, very standard part. So here's the little Lego man, which, um, as you can see, clicks into his hand really well, so he can actually hold it. So say if you um, have this on display, maybe you want to choose a Lego man, and I'm having stuck next to this. Now I know the size is ridiculous, but as I was saying, I can't make this any smaller. And I couldn't really make a drone with this much detail any smaller than it is physically here. Um, but I'm really happy with the outcome. I think it, I'm, I think it's really, really cool. Um, and that's why I wanted to share this with everyone as a giveaway, as a thank you to um, everyone who has subscribed, you know, who does support my channel, who likes comments on a regular basis. It's fantastic. So what I want to do is give this as a giveaway. Um, and in order to win this, um, what you need to do is make sure to like the video, uh, comment below with I want that Lego drone, um, and then make sure you are a subscriber, and if possible, can you please set the, not have the privacy setting on so that I can see you are a subscriber on my subscriber list. And uh, what I wanted to do is show you that, as well as this colour combination, what I've done, 
So on this one, we have the grey version, which is more like the Mavic. Um, we've got the same, all the same parts. And we've got the propellers, the body, etc. Because that's just the layout I have gone for. But to resemble the Mavic, what I did was I've gone for a grey body instead of the white one with this one. But then this one has the sort of pale light grey for things like the gimbal for the camera holder. Whereas on this one, to represent the Mavic better, this one has a dark grey kind of gimbal um, body area. And then for the remote, it has a similar look. So this is going for the kind of more dark grey look. Get that to focus. This has gone for the more dark grey with the black because, again, this is as close as I could get to resemble the Mavic controller with it being dark grey with the black. Um, if we compare it against what I've got for the sort of phantom look, and this is the one that's on the giveaway, um, then you can see the difference but using exactly the same parts. Um, both, I think, are really cool. Um, and um, I'm going to have this sort of on display in the office. Um, it is, was just a bit of fun, but at the same time, I always had in mind that I wanted to do this as a giveaway because I think it's something that's fun, something cool, something people may actually quite like to own because as you can see right here, right now, there is only two of these in the world. So, you know, you could be the owner of this guy. Um, and I think that's really, really cool, both from my standpoint and I think from whoever is going to win this thing. How cool is that to think no one else owns this thing, so you are going to be the sole owner of my mini Lego drone. Alright everyone, thanks for watching this video, and I hope you do like the little Lego drone, especially because this is going to be the giveaway. And um, just to reiterate how to enter, what you need to do is make sure to like this video, comment below with the words, I want that Lego drone. Uh, make sure you're a subscriber, but also make sure that your privacy setting isn't on because if you've got the privacy setting on, I can't see that you're a subscriber in my subscriber list. So that is quite important. And please feel free to share this video with your family and friends and let's get this little guy to its new owner. Thanks everyone again for watching. See you again soon. Bye.